Dr. Osu Mensa is one of the four scientists who contributed immensely to the development of fiber optics and nanotechnology. He was a chemical engineer and inventor. Fiber optics connects this world. Mm. So anybody that's listening, if you press send from your phone yeah. and your picture go to Facebook, mm. TikTok, yeah. Amazon, yeah. Google, yeah. fiber optics is what sends you. And I'm one of the global inventors of this technology. Mm. There, there are actually three white people, okay. Bob Mauer, Peter Schultz, and Don Kelk, and me from Ghana, mm. who invented that technology. His work significantly increased production speed and helped make fiber optics a more affordable technology. Among his 14 patents, he secured seven in fiber optic technologies over the span of six years, which is a remarkable achievement. I have seven patents all in six years. Normally, it takes wow. people five to get even one. However, it is disheartening that whenever his accomplishments are highlighted, some question his legitimacy. This skepticism reflects the lingering effect of colonial brainwashing that many Africans still contend with. Despite ample evidence, patents and recognitions published by the Institutes of Electrical and Electronic Engineers, some people still cast doubt on its integrity. Yet, if he were white, there likely wouldn't be a single question about his achievement. Dr. Mesa was a committed Pan-Africanist, passionate about African self-determination. He sought to change the narrative that blacks are inferior and that global achievement comes solely from Europeans. Everything we see, people think only the white person did it. See an airplane? Oh, a white person do it. See an MRI machine in the hospital, you see a computer. They think it's only a white person can do it. But you are looking at a person who created a technology for you to send pictures on your cell phone worldwide. You are looking at him. And he's not white. He's black just like you. He happens to be from Ghana. He believed that black people are just as capable, if no more so, than any other race. This conviction inspired him to write his book, The Right Stuff Comes in Black Too. The right stuff mm. comes in black too. Mm. And, and the reason is simple. Okay. Blacks have done great and amazing things. Okay. But sometimes you don't hear about it. Uh -huh. It took Wikipedia mm. to put what I have accomplished and done on Wikipedia. Okay. And after that, of course, Google has picked it up. Yes. Dr. Mensah was dedicated to addressing the challenges faced by many Africans. He launched an initiative called Moving Ghana into the 21st Century, aimed at driving progress and innovation across the continent. He also proposed a 21st Century Infrastructure Modernization Plan in the form of high-speed rail system for Ghana. This railway system was to link the nation's important port cities, Accra and Takrade, to Tamale, passing through Kumase. He proposed the installation of fiber optic cables along the high-speed rail system route, allowing passengers to access the internet while traveling at a speed of 200 to 300 miles per hour. Proposing that uh, African countries can leapfrog yeah. by implementing serious strategic infrastructure projects. For example, high-speed train. What you see here, yeah. basically, yeah. is a proposal to yeah. the Ghana government. Mm -hmm. The idea is to have a bullet train, a high-speed train, going from the south, which is Accra, the yeah. main capital, and yeah. Takradi, through Kumasi, all yeah. the way to the border, mm -hmm. to Tamale. Yeah. Instead of taking four days to go from the south to the north by trucks or by train, whatever, yeah. you can take one and a half hours. Yeah. So technically speaking, you can even live in Tamale and work here. Yeah. Dr. Mensa also envisioned connecting like-minded individuals and colleagues in the diaspora, such as Dr. Victor Lawrence from Stevens Institute of Technology in New Jersey, Dr. Doce Visoga from Cornell University, hypersonic expert Dr. Isaiah Blankson from NASA, Richard Okaim, President of DuPont Africa, and Dr. Kojo Uso Asare from Penn State University. Many of them are willing to serve as advisors, with some even considering relocating to Ghana to contribute to the country's development. For those who may not be familiar with Dr. Mensah, here is a brief background. Dr. Thomas Ousu Mensah was born in Kumase, Ghana. 
He is a former student of Adisada College in Cape Coast and Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Kumase. He holds a PhD in Chemical Engineering from Montpellier University in France and a Certificate in Modeling of Chemical Processes from the world-acclaimed Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the U.S. Dr. Mensah has held high-level engineering positions in the U.S first at air products and chemicals then joined corning glass works working in fiber optics research at sullivan park in new york in 1983. he received the corning glass works individual outstanding contributor award for his work in 1985. he moved to bell laboratories in 1986 where he led a program to develop the first laser guided weapons for the u.s department of defense guided missile program this program enabled the development of missiles that travel at the speed of sound Dr. Mensah also founded the high-tech firm Supercon Technology that specializes in aerospace and communication products. His firm focuses on advanced structural materials development for supersonic U.S. fighter aircraft like the F-22, which is among the fastest aircraft. He would eventually become the founder of Georgia Aerospace, which manufactures specialized parts for stealth aircraft. He is the first and only black person to have served as the national chairman of the Materials and Engineering Sciences Division at the American Institute of Chemical Engineers. Recently, he was just one of three black men recognized by the National Academy of Inventors out of 167. The other two were Dr. Mark E. Dean, formerly of IBM and now at the University of Tennessee, and Babatunde Oyedeji Ogunaki, Dean of the University of Delaware, who sadly passed away in 2022. Dr. Mesa has received several awards including Tennis Trumpet Award for Fiber Optics Innovation, Percy Julian Award and Golden Touch Award, which is the highest award by National Society Black Engineers. In 2015, he was inducted into the U.S. National Academy of Inventors. Dr. Mensah returned to Ghana from the U.S. to contribute to the development of the country's technology infrastructure, applying the knowledge he gained abroad. He stated, I am not interested in complaining about the challenges of the system in Ghana. Instead, I want to be part of the movement returning to Ghana to help accelerate its development. He organized and chaired numerous workshops and conferences in collaboration with the government of Ghana to bring his visionary ideas to life. Sadly, Dr. Mensah passed away on March 27, 2024. He left behind a remarkable legacy in science and engineering, leaving us with the pressing question, what's next? Who will carry the torch he lit? Will his dream become yet another unfulfilled promise? This issue highlights one of the key challenges faced not only by Ghana, but by Africa as a whole, continuity. While other countries sponsor their citizens to study abroad and return to contribute to nation building, some of our brightest minds, like Dr. Mensah, often return to little attention or recognition. In April 2024, it was reported that 12 bullet trains assembled in Poland by the Polish rail manufacturer Pisa arrived at Temaport. These trains were inspired by Dr. Mensah's proposal. We can only hope that the groundbreaking innovations and efforts Dr. Mensah invested do not fade away. His contributions must be preserved and advanced. Share your thoughts in the comments below and thank you for watching.